Hello, I'm Kenny from Owlbot. Today, we are releasing the Owl Color picture profile for the C100 Mark II. I've been using this camera for the past five years now, and uh, I've just upgraded to the C500 Mark II, which is a huge leap, but uh, one that, at, you know, this deep into my career was deemed necessary. Because I had spent so much time with this camera, I really did my best to min-max the uh, capabilities of it. One of the reasons why I bought it is because it was a C500 original sensor inside a much more manageable body. Um, you know, it just records to SD cards, battery lasts forever. You can record for 11 hours on one 128 card and there's two of them in here. Like I've said in other videos, this thing is an absolute workhorse. I have it a little pared down right now, but on top of just knowing how to work with it and how to color with it and all that, I actually spurred on by Art Adams reading his article about how to make a C300 color response a little more in line with an Alexa. Obviously, it will not turn your C300 into an Alexa, but get the color closer. Did that with this camera, and then on top of that, did some extra stuff that allows for a um, better dynamic range response. Um, more practically, if you look at your waveform, um, it's less steppy. This is an 8-bit 420 camera, which means that shooting log, while technically giving you more freedom in post, doesn't quite work that way. Um, I found that shooting with this camera is a lot like shooting film in that you kind of want to nail it right off the bat. You know, you definitely can't screw up your white balance and you really want to be able to, to shoot as close to the proper exposure as possible. And shooting with a Sigma 18 to 35 allowed that because I could get all the way down to an F1.8 and then using the built-in ND filters, I could do that out in the you know midday sun and it would give me a really shallow depth of field that was very pretty um, while still maintaining uh, image integrity. So this picture profile you will load into the camera. Um, you do so by putting it on an SD card and then going through the menu and uh, you know just selecting in, in your um, custom picture there from SD and then load owl color into whichever you know C1 through C I think 8. The idea here being that you want the image out of camera to be as good as possible, as pretty as possible in my opinion. Um, that requires minimal post work, but at the same time has the flexibility of being um, edited in post. And I have been, you know, not to toot my own horn, but I, I have been complimented on my color coming straight out of this camera, especially after um, I became a freelance colorist and learning on <laughs> other people's uh, stuff, uh, how to make that image look even better. So that's why I feel like it's time to release this because for those of you working on a C100 Mark II, uh, you know, you're so close, I feel. Um, and and I feel like this will spruce up your uh, image quite handily. You should be shooting with this in such a way that you should be able to hand off the footage and be like, that's done. And then if, if you have the uh, ability, you can go through it and color it a little bit. Really coloring the footage after using the Owl Color picture profile I like to uh, bring down the micro contrast, meaning the, if you want to think of it, the clarity slider. I bring that down a little bit, you know, mess with the, the shadow response a little bit in terms of color, and then um, sharpen it up maybe a touch depending on what you're doing. But that's all it really needs. And even then, you know, uh, it's fine. Here's some footage from my reel that I, that my reel's colored obviously, but here, straight out of camera. This is what uh, the footage looks like. And as you can tell, it's very pretty. Um, so for $30, you can get this picture profile and set it and forget it, in my opinion. Um, I will also be including the Portra LUT that I developed by shooting this camera at the same time as some Portra 400 in my RZ67 Pro 2. And then I went in and uh, I shot a color chart and then I matched the two images and generated a LUT from there. Um, if you do use the LUT, you'll notice that it doesn't change a ton, but um, it does bring it into a Portra color response. That isn't to say it'll make your image look like film, but the colors will be similar to Portra. So 
you get the picture profile, you get the LUT. Um, this is the first thing that I've ever made that I've sold uh, like this. So um, feel free to tell me to go F myself. But, uh, you know, I figured because I'm moving on to a different camera, it was worth sharing with everyone. I will still be using the C100 for web stuff or um, anything where I don't need to take a incredibly expensive cinema camera out into the into the field. This will still be part of the, the arsenal here at Owlbot, but uh, obviously the C500 will be taking over for the big stuff. So I hope uh, the picture profile and even the LUT help you out in your work. Um, you know, if you make any adjustments to it, let me know if, if uh, maybe you're smarter than me. This was kind of just a, over the years, changing little things here and there um, and really making a, a, a straight out of camera image that surpassed um, what the stock picture profiles were on this camera. I even tried Shane Hurlbut's picture profiles. I tried the Able Cine ones and I found that mine, I liked mine better. Um, one thing, for instance, is, is you know, the, the, this camera can stock make kind of a green tint. So I've fixed that. Skin tones, I think, look a lot better. You can, you can, you've seen for yourself, you can see for yourself. So yeah, go ahead and pick that up at www.owlbot.co. That's O-W-L-B-O-T dot C-O. There's a, just hit the store link and it'll be in there. You can also buy this t-shirt or a pin, a little enamel pin if you're interested in that. Uh, I guess this is also the announcement of launching the store. So C100 Mark II, probably my favorite camera of all time, um, soon to be replaced by the C500 Mark II in terms of my favorite, but uh, just wanted to kind of share the wealth there um, while you give me technically some of yours. So uh, yeah, that's it. Just wanted to throw that out there. Hope you all are having an amazing uh, new year and um, take it easy.